is an important story coming from Barack Obama. And no, we're not going to talk about Donald Trump hiring Russian prostitutes to piss on the bed he slept on. But there's an important decision that he's going to make soon that could reverse some of the damage that he has done as president. NBC News is reporting that Chelsea Manning is on the short list to have their sentence commuted by Barack Obama. But the big question is, will he? People have to understand, having a sentence commuted is not a full pardon. It means lessening the charges against them and lessening the prison sentence that Chelsea Manning was given. And he was given 35 years in jail. Now, what did Chelsea Manning do? He released 700,000 military files and diplomatic cables from the U.S. government and leaked it to WikiLeaks, which released the information, information of torture, of abuse, of U.S. soldiers laughing as they killed innocent civilians, graphic video of attack helicopters killing civilians, killing journalists, and soldiers laughing about it that had a huge repercussion geopolitically on the United States. It's important to note that the people who tortured and were exposed by Chelsea Manning, the people who actually did the crime had a lesser sentence than him. One person was sentenced to 90 days hard labor, a reduced rank, and a small fine of $600 for actually doing the torture. And the person exposing the torture, exposing this illegal activity that violated human rights, was sentenced to 35 years in jail. And already, Chelsea Manning has attempted suicide twice in prison. He, She went on a hunger strike over her treatment. And the the UN torture chief even ruled that Chelsea Manning's treatment in jail is cruel and inhumane. As we know, Barack Obama has used the Espionage Act more than all the other presidents before him combined to persecute whistleblowers and journalists. He has been extremely strict, extremely tough, extremely hardline when it came to people exposing what the U.S. government has been doing. Edward Snowden went online and he pleaded, Mr. President, if you grant only one act of clemency as you exit the White House, please Please free Chelsea Manning. You alone can save her life. An important plea that has been retweeted thousands and thousands of times. And of course, the more public attention on this, the better the chances that Barack Obama will actually reverse the damage that he has done. But there's even crazy social justice warriors <laughs> who are getting mad at Edward Snowden for calling for this obvious humane act on Barack Obama to commit. And they're saying, I mean, look, look at this social justice warrior, Ara Bogota. <laughs> She is saying, this is why people of color don't trust you. And she's mad at Edward Snowden because he's not talking about people of color. People, please, can we stop talking about race for just one freaking second? The lunacy on this is just incredulous and insane. It's also important to note that today is the anniversary of Aaron Schwartz's death. He was an internet pioneer who was persecuted by Barack Obama's surveillance uh, control grid state to the fullest extent intimidated in a way where many people are pointing to the fact that this led to Aaron Schwartz's suicide because he was also facing 35 years for again just releasing information out there to the general public for the greater good for greater accountability for greater discourse what will Barack Obama do I don't know but the more we share this video the more we share this information the more chances we have of Chelsea Manning actually being free what do you think do you think Chelsea Manning should be free let me know in the comment section below subscribe to this YouTube channel click the bell button and I want to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart who are on patreon.com forward slash we are change keeping this independent news organization running it's not just me there's a team of reporters on we are change writing articles for you every single day there's editors we're working really hard bringing the news that of course the mainstream media fails to do so but we are here and together we are change